Hello and welcome to a Sophisticated Pairs Bra Naked Truth video series. My name is Erica and today I'm going to be talking to you about bra sizing. Now one of the most common expressions I hear when I'm fitting a woman is, I'm a what? And this is usually in response to me telling her what her new bra size is. A lot of women can't fathom that the alphabet goes beyond triple D when it comes to cup sizes. And part of this misconception arises because there's a lot of misinformation floating around about how bra sizing actually works. How often have we heard those celebrity bra sizes where the triple D cup is reserved for the bustiest of the busty, like Christina Hendricks or Salma Hayek? As a result, when I tell a woman that she wears an F, a double F, even a G cup, she can't understand how it's possible that her cup size could be so much larger than the triple D that these busty celebrities allegedly wear. So today I want to clear up some of that misinformation and talk to you about how bra sizing works. In particular, how the band and the cup size interrelate to form that overall bra size. Let's start with the band. The band is responsible for 80% of the support from your body and it functions by wrapping tightly around and anchoring. Then it lifts from the bottom. A lot of women mistakenly think that the band is not responsible for the lift, it's the straps. They think the straps should just pull the weight of the breasts up when actually it's the band that pushes from the bottom. As a result, it's very important to get your band size correct. So to find the band size, all you need to do is measure around your rib cage directly beneath the bust. This is going to be your approximate band size. There are a couple of exceptions to this which we discussed in our bra fitting video, but for the purposes of this discussion, we're just going to assume that this measurement here relates to your band size. Now let's talk about cup size. Cup size is going to be a representation of your full bust. So in order to find it, all you would need to do is measure around your full bust and then subtract your band size from it. And you'll get some kind of inch difference. So you'll have something like A is 1 inches, B is 2 inches, etc. and so on. Now where we start to see a lot of confusion is people associate that A cup or B cup with a certain cup with a certain breast size or shape. So for example, everyone says an A cup is flat, a B cup has a little more going on, C cups are more average, and then when we get to D, we start to see more of that fuller bust. The truth is cup sizes mean absolutely nothing without that corresponding band size. You see, the band size is actually a representation of your torso. And then the cup size relates your bust to that torso. So without having an understanding of exactly what your torso measures, the cup size doesn't really mean anything. So I want to demonstrate that to you with an example. I have here a 34 double D and a 28 double D. Now clearly you can see the 34 double D has a lot more cup space than the 28 double D. Now why is that? The woman who wears a 34 double D is actually going to have more breast tissue than the woman who wears the 28 double D. This woman here who wears the 34 is going to have a proportionally bigger torso and bust measurement than the 28 double D. Let me illustrate a little more. Over here I have a chart that walks down the double D cup size. Again, this is just a generalization as there are some more considerations to take into account when finding your bra size. If you're interested in that, please check out our bra fitting video. Anyway, we have here at the top the 28 double D. This is for a woman who has approximately a 28 inch rib cage and a 33 inch chest. Then we get to a 30 double D. This woman has 30 inch rib cage and a 35 inch chest. Skipping down to the 34 double D, which I just showed you, this is a 34 inch rib cage and a 39 inch chest. So in both cases here, the 28 double D and the 34 double D, there is a 5 inch difference between the rib cage and the full bust. However, this woman here who wears the 28 double D is actually 6 inches smaller in both the ribs and the chest than the woman who wears the 34 double D. So as you can see, double D really doesn't mean anything without having that band size to give you some kind of frame of reference. Now this actually brings me to the topic of cup size equivalent bras. So actually if you look down here, I have a 34 double D is equivalent to a 28 double F. Now what this means is it's cup size equivalent. Simply put, cup size equivalents are bra sizes that are not the same, but it requires the same amount of breast volume to fill the cup. So as I said here, we have the 34 double D being cup size equivalent to the 28 double F. And I want to show that to you. As you can see, the cup sizes are more similar here than what we had with the 28 double D and 34 double D. However, these women are not going to be proportionally the same. The woman who wears the 34 double D is actually going to have a smaller difference between her torso and full bust measurement than the woman who wears the 28 double F. 
As a result, the woman with the 28 double F is actually going to look a little bustier for her frame than the woman who wears the 34 double D. So to summarize, what you're looking at here is the band size being that representation of the torso. It's going to give you some kind of perspective about what that cup size means. All cup size is going to tell you is how much larger your bust measurement is to the band size. So as I showed you here, a cup size without that band size is very flexible. In this case, we have you know, a 28 double D having a 33 inch chest, and then down here we get to that 38 double D with a 43 inch chest. That's a 10 inch difference in the chest measurement. So what you really need when you're looking at that bra size is to identify what the band is to give you a frame of reference to understand what that cup size means. So the next time you hear someone talking about a celebrity bra size and they're referencing a obviously very busty celebrity and saying they're a triple D, you can understand that this really doesn't mean anything. And more than likely, they're probably going to be even higher in the cup than the triple D would suggest. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to email sophisticatedpair at gmail.com. Don't forget to check out our other videos in the Brown Naked Truth series, as well as on our YouTube channel. And keep checking back with our blog, Twitter, and Facebook for all the latest news and event information. Thank you.